Okay, good morning and welcome to the review of Rag. Yes, Rag, or you could call it Rent a Girlfriend. Now, we're on episode eight, and after last week's episode with the match between two of the most iconic figures, the girlfriend and the ex-girlfriend, Ruka versus Mommy, Ruka got the biggest W of her life. And Mommy is now 0-3. Because if you look at her 0-3 record, she lost a lot. Go back to season one, Mommy lost to Chizu in the swim, in that beach thing. Now, then she lost to Sumi, and it only took one episode to prove why Sumi's best girl. And now this, the first encounter between Ruka and Mommy, back at it, head to head, and now Ruka destroyed Mommy. And now she's 0-3. Now we get to this episode where it's like, this is more like a laid back. You know, Rags has this, Rag does have his ups and downs. And there's some moments that in Rent a Girlfriend that says, what the hell is going on? Or the whole season one vibe, you know, of a traditional Rent a Girlfriend bystander type. That makes you like, you know what? This is one of those episodes we could just lay back and just watch. It's like, it's like one of those, it's like those dads where they got their recliner chair, lean back and then, it's like a man cave full of guys who just lean back and just have this big old flat screen team watching NFL games and you just like getting a beer and just watch it. And that's what this episode was about. So without further ado, let's get right to it, episode eight of season two of RAG. Okay, so after the uh, after the, the whole confrontation, everything went out, out, out the opening. One, you got Ruka being all happy and jolly that she did what she had to do to speak her mind to cheat. I mean, speak her mind and all that. Then you got Mommy, who's on Twitter nonstop, stalking her prey, just waiting for that moment to pick it, pick it, pluck, until that moment she strikes back. Thus, the Hawaii trip arc. But I hope that I hope they do better in that one soon. Now we get to this. Okay. Now, Kazuya is still trying to help Chizu, you know, do what she can. So, she goes, he goes on rental girlfriend dates. Still with Chizu, by the way. So, what they do is, okay, what, she, what his idea is, okay, why don't we just make this more interesting? Let's go, like, let's cosplay. That's why it's called youth and girlfriend. And you know what? Sometimes I watch, some, you know, sometimes I, when I watch rental girlfriend, I keep forgetting they're college students. I kid you not. I keep forgetting they're college students, mainly because there's the, um, Sorry, mainly because the um, the structure of how um, how they look. I don't know. I some rom coms. The thing is, sometimes rom coms are always high school students. Have you noticed that? Majority, well, not all the time, but majority, mostly rom coms are mostly high school students. And like this, this whole youth and girlfriend. It's just that's what it's all about. So they all just you know dress up in high school suits, and Chizu looks good, by the way. It's just Kazuya. Sometimes I look at Kazuya and I say, bro, get some balls. Grow a pair. Because if you think about last week, Ruka. Ruka got more balls than, than Ruka got more balls than Kazuya. Kazuya's all freaking out with all these mean faces. And I said to myself, Kazuya, when are you going to grow up? You're a college student. You should be more mature. You should handle things in situations. You should not blush for any possible moment. You see mommy, Ruka, Chuju, Sumi, but come on, stop with the BS. I understand you're the, because you got the memes. I get that, but come on, when are you gonna stop this? I'm curious. Okay, now back to what I was saying. So they go on a simple date, you know, sharing a, a chocolate, uh, uh, what you call those, uh, you know, those sugar sticks that you get from those, those carts. The sugary cane sticks, I forgot what they call, but that's how they do it. So he's all fanicking, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Every moment he freaks, every moment that is happening, he freaks the fuck out. That, and when it took, and then when they count my girl, when my girl appeared, when Sumi appeared on the scene, it was beauty. I mean, she was buying a man's hat. I mean, like, we all know why, because Kazuya's birthday is coming up. So of course you're going to buy him a gift. And I, you know, Sumi has been. This is why I said Sumi needs, like, not only Sumi has her own series, Rent a Really Shy Girlfriend, but we need an OVA. We need, like, five OVA episodes of her daily life of Sumi because, again, she is developing more, more than the other three. Let's just let's cut the BS and say this. We can make an argument 
The best development girl out of the four is Sumi. I kid you not. Now, let's finish. Let's let's finish this. So they all like, okay, let's take a photo. Let's take a, a kiss photo. Okay. Now, every moment I'm like, how's you just do it? Like Chizu, th this is why Chizu is a good actress. This is why Chizu wants to become an actress. Actress. Everything Chizu does, she just plays the role. Like she don't care. Like pretend to be high school students, pretend to do this and that. She's playing the role well. And not once has she freaking the fuck out. That's my point. Not once has she freaked out. And like this, it's like, why? Why freak out over the littlest of things, Kazuya? They just do it. And there were moments that you, and there were moments that Kazuya keep looking down on stuff. Like the moment when they were trying to bypass Sumi or, or, where, or wherever she was, he always looking at her butt, always looking at her skirt. I'm like, this guy is something else. And there were moments when, like, he holding her hand, like, I mean, the first one. That's the first one. Let me, that's the first one. Let me get to that later. But still, like, um, the whole, like, trying to do the kiss cup photo, like, the hug and everything. You, I understand uh, Chizu was blushing, but Kazuya was twice as more shocking, more blushing. Like, this guy's not doing anything. I'm like, dude, just a simple date. It's just a simple date. It's nothing wrong. You're just there. So they're like, okay, we got a hug. Okay, hug. And all he's thinking about was her boobs and her her legs and everything on her. And she's, you know, I understand she was blushing as well. But it's for the, it's the job. And when they did, the next one was a kiss. So all they did was like, okay, let's do the kiss. Just, just pretend to kiss. And the funny thing about that kiss, the funny thing about this kiss was that if you look at all the photos that he did, I mean, that they did, Kazia had these, these mean faces. But when the kiss thing happened, if you look closely, that is like his, he had that normal smile. So to me, he had that transition. And this whole thing is like a symbolism. It's a symbol of they're gonna kiss one day. Well, technically, they I ain't gonna spoil it. But my point is, this is like, this is the thing that's gonna be together. And I see that coming, I see that. And then you get to the first one, he's still, they still freaking out his first one. The thing about Kazuya is that Kazuya, He's afraid that he don't want to make any mistakes. That's how he is. He's afraid of making, he's afraid of not making mistakes. And I get that. But there's a moment where you on a date, don't freak out. Even if it's a pretend date, don't freak out. And what did he do? He moments he freaked out. Like the woman in the Ferris wheel. When they got on the Ferris wheel, he trying to look and he he, he lost his balance and then he grabbed onto Chizu's boobs, you know what I mean? I mean, like, if you look close, if you look back in this season, he not only back then he grabbed Chizu's ass, but he grabbed Chizu's boob, um, left boob. I mean, yeah, his left boob, and then she slapped him. And I'm thinking, and you know what? We all know what he was, we all know what he's thinking. With that right hand, with his hand of his, we all know what he's thinking. The moment he comes home, the moment he goes home, we all know what he's thinking. And yeah, Jesus and Kazuya had these moments about love and about confidence and stuff. That's 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 pretty much the basics of Chizu and Kazuya. Relate um, the whole rented girlfriend aspect of those two: confidence, um, pursuing your dreams, all those things. And that's what Kazuya Chizu's relationship as like the sole purpose of what they got to do to get better. And that's that's that, you know. Having that willpower. And the thing about Kazuya is that he to, he's one of those guys he could cheer you up. When the chips are down, he kind of give you that vibe. Where it's like, I promise you will do better. You will do this and that. You'll be a fine actress. All that stuff. He keeps that positive face to help cheese with confidence. But outside of him, he always fidgeting and always nervous. And that's, that's pretty much it. Again, this episode was really good, and, and there's not much. There's not much to say about this episode. All it was is, it was just your basic. It was just your basic, um, um, Kazuya and Chizuru dating. That's it's pretty much the basics that we're that we've seen, and seeing them cosplaying as high school students and not to be caught by anybody. You know, just your basic, uh, rent to girlfriend dating vibe all over again. Now, next week is, next week is gonna be the birthday and girlfriend that's the joint birthday arc that's the joint birthday arc that is gonna be great i mean this is gonna be the chizuru 
Ruka and Kazuya moment that we're gonna get. And I'm telling you right now, the joint birthday arc is mm, top three. It's my top three favorite arc right now. It's top three. Trust me, you guys are gonna love it, especially Ruka with her moment that you did not see it coming. But you'll see. So that's all I gotta say. And like I said, this episode was okay. It was like one of those episodes where you lean back and just watch your typical rent a girlfriend dating vibe all over again. It's your typical thing. But next week, ooh, sparks are going to fly. And I look forward to that next week's episode. Oh, and by the way, I got I got a I got something that I gotta show y'all next week. Well, tomorrow if I if possible. But I gotta reveal. I might do it live, I might launch it, but we'll see. If I have to, if if I have time. So I look forward for next week's episode of Rent the Girlfriend Season 2, and I'm sure you will.